So today I'm going to do a cook on my pit barrel. I'm going to be doing a pork loin and that'll be the next video that shows up on this channel so check that out as soon as it arrives. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I light my fire for the pit barrel and this is pretty much the procedure every time I cook on the pit barrel for the most part with a few exceptions but this is a will work every time. All I do is go ahead and of course get out my uh, basket where I put the charcoal so I'm going to go ahead and put some charcoal in here. Try to bring this up pretty level like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a chimney starter like this and I'm just going to add about 30 to 40, two, four, don't have to be perfect, but a good handful. They say about a fourth. I've used this method every time and uh, it works fine. I just kind of start to eyeball it because I lose count. <laughs> and then once I get a set amount in there, that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and place this on to of the uh, pit barrel. Get you some junk mail, paper, whatever, throw under here. I sometimes have some chimney starter that's designed for this, but I'm out right now, so we're, we're using paper. It's windy outside, so got this match. If I don't catch it on fire, may I got it first try, hopefully. See if that'll get going. Looks good. We're going to let that burn for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then we'll pour it in the charcoals, which we'll put in the barrel. Let it come up to heat, and it'll be time to cook. You could do this if you're cooking ribs, if you're doing pork loin, even if you're going to cook burgers, it don't matter. You follow this method, and it tends to be perfect every single time I've done it. Uh, never fails. So we'll just let this come on up to... Uh, Temperature kind of burns some of them coals until they start getting burned in real well. One other important thing to remember is setting your uh, damper here or your uh, elevation uh, based on where you live. I live in an area where it's under 2,000 elevation, so I barely open it. And I just leave it set there for just about all my cooks. I do not mess with it, and it does the same. If you live in an area with a higher elevation, you may have to move it up more to half or near full, uh, the manual will tell you, or you can actually Google and uh, find out from them. It'll show you where you need to set that based on your elevation. Just find out what your elevation is and set it and forget it. One final look at it, it's been a little over 10 minutes. After 10 to 12 minutes, you can see this is really getting hot and burning. I think we're good. We're just gonna go ahead and now, all we need to do is remove this, remove this grate. We're gonna take these charcoal uh, basket right here and place right down in the barrel and then try to get these right on those coals. And of course wear your gloves this this does get hot keeps you from uh, burning yourself. Uh, so now they're on there and this is really ready to cook. You can go ahead and put your grate back on if you're wanting to cook something on the grate or in my case, I'm gonna be hanging on my next cook some pork loin. Go ahead and put these in here. You can actually even take this if you need to kind of spread that out, straighten them kind of evenly. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in right here. Now this will help control the temperature. So you want to put these in 
I'll put the lid on. And now we just got to, uh, whatever you want to cook, you can go ahead and do so. So I'm going to go get that pork loin ready. That's going to be in the next video. And that's all there is to it to get it set up. Um, that thing is ready to cook. It's going to go ahead and hold a temperature anywhere from 250 to 325. It's colder outside, so I tend to see the temperature is a little cooler in the winter when I'm cooking in colder temperatures. It takes a little longer on the cook. That's why it's best to cook to temp and not by time. In most cases, I use a thermometer, and I'll show that in my next video as well. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and to subscribe for all this outdoor cooking. I cook on the pit barrel and also Blackstone. Uh, so if you enjoy outdoor cooking, you're going to enjoy this channel.